Here's a quick update on Tropical Storm Florence at the 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Advisory 37 from the National Hurricane Center has been released. It's still got winds of 65 miles per hour. Uh, it briefly dropped down to 60 overnight. Uh, it's back to 65 miles per hour and is poised to become a hurricane later on today or tonight. And then could become a major hurricane shortly after that. As you can see on the National Hurricane Center's forecast cone, the track continues to shift slightly towards the west. And now by day 5, you can see Thursday at 8 a.m., that last dot there, major hurricane Category 4, the National Hurricane Center expects to move towards the coast of the Carolinas. It's becoming ever more difficult for the optimists to rule out a U.S. landfall as you look at this cone. It almost entirely covers the US with very little wriggle room on the northern side at all. I think at this point it's safe to say that the US is somewhere guaranteed to get tropical storm force winds. The question now is where are we going to pin it down to? That answer will become more clear in the next five days, but for the time being, the whole of the US East Coast, I think, needs to be preparing uh, for potentially the worst as this storm continues to draw closer. It's still very far away from any land areas, 24.5 north, 54.3 west, according to the NHC. Uh, if you're rowing in Bermuda, pretty much well outside of the cone now, as you look at it here. Um, we've also got the tropical storm force wind speed probabilities, also from the National Hurricane Center. This might give you a bit of a better picture. This is in the next five days only. Beyond that, those percentages might be higher along the U.S. East Coast. But this is what it's saying right now. Um, as you can see, along the coast of South Carolina, North Carolina, around 25 to 30 percent chance of tropical storm force winds in the next five days. Those percentage chances are going to increase and you can see some of those chances extending all the way down to southern Florida and as far north as Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula uh, but that is be it, it would be it would extend further but that is just because it's outside of the five-day area so how is Florence actually looking this morning it's looking a bit like this uh, you can see an eye feature developing and a bit of convection blowing up I'm actually surprised that the National Hurricane Center didn't um, raise the intensity at all. I thought maybe they'd already gone with 70 miles per hour by now, but they've kept it at 65. This is how it looks on the infrared satellite. Let's look at the visible. This is what it looks like on the visible, and you can see how it has been starting to look better in those last few frames as a uh, eye feature has been developing. Uh, it is a, an eye actually, but uh, there's still very weak convection around it despite that blow up but maybe this is the road to intensification now what's more fascinating is if you look at the uh, movement it would appear that the movement may be ever so slightly south of west uh, looking at the center of the storm uh, i think the national hurricane center kept it at west they certainly did in the previous advisory and just whilst we're on this the water vapor imagery if we can get this one loaded it's taking its time loading uh, but you can see a lot of dry air to the south and wind shear was impeding the storm for a long time. It's not working very well at the minute. But you can see, again, a large area that the storm has under its command on the west and the northern side. And a blow up here and there too. But you can see what it's fighting at the minute. And that's why the storm hasn't intensified um, markedly recently. Let's look at the sea surface temperatures. They look like this. Uh, the storm is currently located somewhere towards the right-hand edge of the image. Uh, maybe a little bit further to the left of the edge. Uh, but sea surface temperatures where it is right now, around 28 degrees. And they're only going to get warmer as the storm moves towards the eastern seaboard. Uh, those temperatures are around 29 degrees. And as you can see, those 29 degree waters extend pretty much not quite, but almost all the way up to the landfall area, the potential landfall area, uh, thanks to the Gulf Stream. If the storm did end up going further north, somewhere like the Outer Banks, Chesapeake Bay, the Delmarva Peninsula, those very warm sea surface temperatures remain even up there as well. And the 26 degree uh, isotherm extends all the way to Long Island. Um, and that is what is required to sustain a tropical cyclone. 
in general terms but you can see they're not going to be an issue whatsoever. Here's another look. This is what the uh, models are all saying, put side by side and together. The top left-hand panel shows the expected intensity of Florence over the next five days. And you can see that one or two of them are taking it pretty close to Category 5 status. Um, and a lot of the models calling for Category 4, so it's no surprise that the National Hurricane Center has gone with that. Wind shear it has been high in the last few days. Florence really struggled under 25 to 30 knots of wind shear. It's now down to 20, and it's going to drop even more in the later part of today, down to about 10 to 15. So that's going to be a very um, good sign for Florence intensifying. Um, if it will make the most of that, I expect, especially as you're getting to September 10th there when it reaches a minimum, and then it goes up a little bit again after that. But also going up are the sea surface temperatures, as I pointed out. Already 28 could get towards 30 as we get into the 11th or the 12th. Relative humidity is only marginal, as you saw on that water vapor imagery. Um, generally, it's going to stay around the same. Maybe that will cause an issue or two. I doubt it, though. I think it will be large enough to uh, battle against any dry air intrusion, at least for the next five days. Uh, and you can see there, or the next four days, but on the, on the left hand panel, the bottom left, uh, you can see the models and we'll get another look at this now, a more detailed look at what the models are saying. This was at the six UTC runs, which was about uh, nearly 12 hours ago now. Uh, the 12 o'clock runs will be out within about an hour or so. Uh, but you can see what they were saying earlier today. Um, it is a jumbled mess it's very uncertain still the official track is pretty far towards the south there which is interesting um, but as far as I've seen a lot of the models are agreeing with it particularly uh, the HWRF and the HMOM which I'll show you very shortly um, I don't believe the ECMWF is depicted on this image um, but it has been calling for one of the further south landfalls as well for quite some time so I think the officials are having this um, uh, uh, have it the most right at the minute, the best guess at this time. This is what the Nash, uh, this is what the uh, HWRF says. You can see there, Category Four, borderline Category Five, actually at its peak, which happens towards the end of that line. Uh, and you can see where it's meaning to go. That is pretty much pointing towards a South Carolina landfall as a Category Four on day six. And this is the HMON, which is calling for it to be ever slightly faster and also calling for a borderline Category 5. And you can see again, South Carolina landfall on day 6 looks to be the order of the day on that. So Florence is something we're going to be watching very closely over the next few days. Those along the, along the East Coast need to be watching out for uh, very strong winds from hurricane force conditions. And it promises to be a rainmaker as well. So even if there is substantial weakening before it reaches the U.S. East Coast, if it goes towards the U.S. East Coast, there are going to be quite a lot of rain issues and possible flash flooding along the US East Coast. It's time to prepare now. There's five or six days to do so, and you better make the most of it because this could be the biggest storm of the year.